Hello friends, uh, this is size 14 grub hook and the bead is pink tungsten 2.8 millimeter and thread I'm using is red. I'll explain the rest of the material. This is one of my favorite again winter grading pattern. And you just start below the beads. And for the ribs, I'm going to be using this is a red holographic tinsel. It's a very small size. So I'm going to cut this same time. And just go towards the bend. Keep going and then come back and just kind of rough up the body. That should be okay. Go back and leave a little tug here. Add some marks on your thread. Basically, I'm using all these patterns um, because as we're going towards the winter and grading fishing, so basically, what we're doing is using uh, it's like a grading series. So, this is a squirrel dubbing, very spiky one, it's called a little glitter in it. So, and you need to spiky dubbing to do this. So I'm going to just rotate the vise so we can get better grip and angle. And we can dub the thread easily, get my hand around. And this is a very buggy type of pattern, so don't be shy when you're adding this uh, squirrel dubbing. So once you've done that, I always kind of spin my bobbing. So it can catch it properly. As you see, I'm leaving a little tug in here and just go very close touching turn. Some of the natural dubbings are a little bit difficult to dub. Don't worry about the if you go over log and like I usually say, work with your body. We need a nice shape. Now we need more. I was uh, actually fishing with this pattern a couple of years ago in uh, River Air near the Yorkshire, North Yorkshire, Gargrave near Skipton Stretch and uh, I had a really nice brown trout with this actually as well as grayling but I happened to catch a really nice big brown trout with this one so now if you could just uh, create a tiny red tag in here you know with this tinsel and keep coming up as you can see open ribs just to give a red colors and pink and red great color combination in a winter cold weather cut this off now i'm going to finish off with a bit more dubbing so add some wax now i'm going to go towards the spikier one this is a big glittery so need a lock here for the head and take your time to 
Lengthen this to a tiny bit more. If, if it's too much, you can obviously take some off. Again, just take your time when you're finishing off. Hold this bug. As you can see, it looks very, really, really nice. And just leave as it is, scruffy. And I'm going to finish with just a tidy way finish. And also, Arsene Wax varnish here if you want. I've not got varnish left, so I'm just going to finish off just like this. And again, you can get a dubbing brush just on the head, tiny bit. Just release some of these and make it a bit stuffy. So there you have another one of my favorite winter grayling squirrel bug. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.